Number Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. Looking for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30-yard line. So here comes the offense taking coming here. Brought down around the 30 yard line. He got past the line of scrimmage. You knew he'd be going a long way. That easily could have been six. Tackle at about the 19-yard line. That makes it second to eight. And he's leveled to the 26-yard line. And how about the athleticism of that defensive end? Great sack right there. Great pressure there from the defensive line. They couldn't double-team this guy because of the blitz, and he just got to the quarterback with his speed. It's third and 15. Ball on the 26. Now he tries to buy some time. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's taken down right around the 14-yard line. They almost got themselves out of a big hole, but it was not to be. Now they still managed a good gain on third down, and sometimes that's enough to get your confidence back. Kicks up, and it hits the upright. No good. Well, that's just unlucky. It looked pretty good from here. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's out to the 30. He makes his way out to about the 35. And they might be coming with a blitz here. He 
He gets out to about the 38 yard line. That's good for game three. That'll make it 77. Scrambling around. He might not be able to get the pass off. He's tackled around the 43 yard line. They're showing blitz. Now he's scrambling. Knocked out of bounds at the 43. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. Tackle at the 41-yard line. They'll turn the ball over on down. Questionable play calling there by the coaching staff. It's way too early in the game to be going for it on fourth down. I would have punted the ball in that situation. They can really pay for it now unless their defense comes out here and makes a big defensive stop. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. They'll bring him down at about the 41. That makes it second and 10. From the 41 yard line, second down. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 28. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly yeah, yeah, underrated yeah. quality these days. It looks like they're going to blitz. Makes it out to about the 16. He's going to get some congratulations for that nice display of running. Normally, his job is to block. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. And that's a very heads-up play by the defensive end to jump on that fumble. Here's a great job of the defense there to take advantage of the mistake and cause that turnover. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. That's a game 17. That makes it first and 10. They might be coming here. He's got it out to his tight end. And down he goes, right around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and two. Over the middle to his tailback. And they make the stop at the 45. From the 45 yard line, it's third down. He makes it to the 42 yard line. And they might be coming with a blitz here. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 39-yard line. Nine, two, 
We played one. Still no score. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Now he pitches it, and he's tackled the 42-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's going to try and scramble. He lets it fly. Drops it. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. That brings up fourth and 11. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. It's away. Short punt. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. They're showing blitz. Now he pitches it. He's at midfield. At the 30. Down the sideline. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. He tops 100 yards on the ground with that last run. He just can't say enough about the job the offensive line has done. They've kept the running lanes open and given him all kinds of space to maneuver. And he adds the extra point. A quick two-play, 70-yard drive, and the result, seven points. The score now, 7-0. Army lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 10. Drop down at the 23. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Makes it out to about the 40. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counter play. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. Fires it out, and he hits him hard at the 48-yard line. Number 22 makes the tackle at the 48-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gain of seven yards. That makes it second and two. He's scrambling. No, incomplete. Peyton, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up 32. Out to the receiver, and it's knocked away. Number 
three was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. The kick is up. The kick. Tough break there for the kicking team. Still, our score, 7 nothing, Army. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Army up seven points. He's got an opening. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the... It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. The red zone has not been kind to this offense. Are they going to end this drought? And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings us second and goal. You ain't doing nothing. Army. He's blocking backs to a lot of dirty work during the game, so it's good to reward him. Let him barrel it in for a score once in a while. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And it looks like they're going to bring some heat. Fires quick. Tips. You know, that actually might have been a break for the from their own 25-yard line. It's second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's to the 40. He's tackled in the open field. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Throws it. Knocked down, incomplete. Well, the great safeties are almost like a center fielder roaming back in the back, just reading the quarterback's eyes. Here, he does a really good job of seeing where the quarterback wants to go with the football, getting a very good jump on it, and simply not getting it away from the receiver. Drop down at the 44 yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He chucks it downfield. Can't connect. Number three is the intended receiver on the way. That makes it second and 10. He's under some heat, and he's going to be sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Army's going to use their first time out of the half. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. The Hurricanes saw one of their top players going down earlier. Looks like he's been back in there. He scrambled. And this one's going to get intercepted. Broke away from one, and he tackles him hard at the 29. 
boy, just when it looked like they had a chance to get right back into this game, they throw the interception. Now it's still early. Let's see if their defense can bail them out. From the 29-yard line, first down. They're packed in tight on the line. Heading for the corner. Tackle at the 16-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 15. Miami's going to take their first time out of the half. The fullback rumbles ahead for about a yard. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 15. He's taken down at the 15-yard line. The Hurricanes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Throws into coverage, just picked off. Breaks one. Brad, this week these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. From the 38-yard line, first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he is drilled at the two. That's a game of 46 on the play. He makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown, Canes. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had blocking up front on that play. And he hits the PAT. A short two-play, 38-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 14-7. Miami kicks this one off. He's out to the 30. Gets out to about the 31. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. We played a half of football. The Black Knights lead 14-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together – one, maybe two good scoring drives. Our defense has got her back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass. And if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, 
don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games. And you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Laterals back, and he's got space. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Wow. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. And again, we're looking at a tie game. Man, a lot. This one really looks like it's going to come down to the finish. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. Got the corner. Tackle made at the 13. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. And they might be coming with a blitz here. And down he goes at the 20-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. Third down. Kill, kill. Kill, down. Complete. He's out to the 30. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. Makes it, and the quarterback scrambles. And he's tackled right away. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice day in that time. Good call. From the 42-yard line, first down. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Second and nine. 
Pressure coming. He's at the 30. Steps out of bounds at the 14-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. This defense has been in this situation before. They forced a huge turnover when they were backed into their own red zone last time. That makes it second and eight. This is the ninth play of this drive. My 10! My 10, my 10! Check three, check three, check three! Now he tries to buy some time. Slings it. Big play, and it's first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. A short yardage defense here. Touchdown, Black Knights. And he tacks on the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackling at the 14. The Hurricanes couldn't get much going in the first half offensively, but they've really got it going here in the third quarter. I think this is a great example of just making the right adjustments at halftime. The staff got together, made the adjustments, and boy, this quarterback in this offense has gone out there and found their rhythm. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. And they make the stop right around the 34. That makes it second and two. They might be coming here. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down at the 39. Tackle made at the 41. Loss of two on the floor. That'll bring up second and 12. Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, Let's go, They hand it off again. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Harris gets six yards on the carry. That'll bring up 36. One quarter to go, and this looks like it could come down to the very end. 21 team, Army. Let's go, 
And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. make it fourth and six. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Those incomplete intended for his wideouts. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Army is up seven. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 36. Brought down around the 40-yard line. Seven yard line. Brad, it's a it's a first down. And, and I, obviously this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going, and for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get, and that's in the end zone. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. Setting up the play action. Zips it to the tight end. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do. To it's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties. and puts a lot of pressure on them. They have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it. It's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. From the 33-yard line, first down. Army is up by a touchdown. He fights forward to about the 30. On play action. Got a man. Watch out here. Touchdown, Army. The halfback got his number call on the pass play and came through with a score. Well, this is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. That's a great touchdown, Brad. But what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator has got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown, well, they've got to regroup. Value. Get set to kick this one away. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Well, at this point in the game, this offense has no choice. They've got to try to get down the field as quickly as possible and come up with a touchdown, probably an onside kick or a quick defensive stop, get the ball back and get another touchdown. So they need to execute and execute as well as they can. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled at the 34. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. King goes with a play fake. 
And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. First down. Scrambling around. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. He's going to try and scramble. Finds the junior, and he's taken down at the 29-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Throws this one out to the right. It falls incomplete. Terrific coverage. And when you clog up passing lanes like that, you can force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Second and 10. Ball in the 29. A little over a minute in the game. Got hit and still completed it. Heading for the corner. And he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. You know, this corner has physical abilities that you're going to see at the next level. He can cover wide receivers. He can be physical against the run. But here he also shows an ability to pressure the quarterback off the blitz. That's a great play by him. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. Notch that touchdown in their last possession. Given them confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against his defense. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 21 yard line. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. The Hurricanes are going to call their second timeout. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Miami will take their final timeout. That makes it 44. Harley is back deep to return the punt. Booming kick. Harley feels it at the 27. They'll bring him down at the 38-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Throws it in a hurry, and they make the stop at the 40. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. 
was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. They'll bring him down at the 20. And 20 yards. First down. And he rifles it in there for the touchdown. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. And he's in for two. And down he goes at the 44 yard line. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. A great game here today in a tight one. Army 28, Miami 22. The Hurricanes. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.